What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today I've got a quick guide for you in Throne and Liberty explaining milestones because these are probably confusing to people that haven't played a lot of free-to-play RPGs and it's not a great system if I'm being honest. Basically what it is, is it drip feeds content to the player base because otherwise, you know, a lot of the sort of more hardcore players will get through the entire game in a week and then spend a month complaining there's no content. So basically what it does is it opens up content to the entire server over time. It drip feeds it to players one by one. Now, the weird thing about Throne and Liberty is different servers are at different milestones because there are early access servers and then there are post-release servers. This is also why if you're on a post-release server, you can't switch to an early access server and vice versa. So for this one in particular, I'm going to go ahead and show you right here. So we are on a reptilian paradise. This is the current milestone. If you look in the bottom right there, it says Silas Abyss, floors five and six. Now I've got a bunch of contracts in my inventory for floors five and six in the Silas Abyss. If I can find them, which ones are they? This one here. So you can see here, I'm going to try and use these. My contract list is full. It wouldn't let me use them because I don't have access to that area of the abyss yet because my server milestone hasn't reached that location. So tomorrow or three hours and 58 minutes or 48 minutes from now, this will transfer to the next milestone. So this one will be complete. Now, you do have objective progress meters here for guilds. I've done two or three of these. It doesn't do anything. You get a reward out of it, which is great, but it doesn't progress the milestone. So you're not going to progress through quicker than the rest of the server purely because you and your guilds are doing the objective. So in order to get to this one here, I will need to just wait until a reptilian paradise, which is another three hours and 48 minutes runs through, and then the next milestone will go. So if you're ever sort of wondering why certain things aren't working, you can come through and look at all of these. You can see down there, look, field bosses, guild raids. It all sort of drips through the content slowly over time. So pretty much as the average player, there's nothing you can do about it other than just wait. So you're nice and quick, nice and easy. Get what you need to get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe. We do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.